when using a driving simulator in combination with other simulations that you're running, it's important to realize uh, that for the driving simulator you need human-centric sceneries and for the engineering tools you need engineering-centric sceneries. Uh, sensor simulations have different requirements through the 3D uh, scenarios or sceneries than the human driver in a simulator has. So if you want to achieve a maximum immersion of a driver in a simulator, you need high quality graphics. And that is graphics, there's no other way uh, to create that than through graphics artists. Uh, we spend a lot of time on detail and, uh, and, and creating a precise copy of, a, uh, of an environment. Uh, that's labor intensive, uh, it takes a lot of time and it is by definition not possible to change that. Uh, in a way it is like a proving ground. If you build a proving ground, it is there, the road layout is there, there's no way you can change it. But there are also certain types of simulations and certain types of tests that you want to run with a driver in the loop where it is important that you have the possibility to quickly change the road layout because it is a certain scenario that you want to test. And if that scenario requires an adaptation of uh, a scenery, you, we, you need to be able to uh, accommodate for that. Whenever we're talking with engineers who really see and understand the value of connecting a driver to the simulations that they are running, the first thought is always, hey, we already have visualization software as part of our engineer, so let's use that uh, and present that to the driver in the simulator. Now, often people start that way and then they come to the realization that uh, the drivers in the simulator really never get fully immersed because it continues to look like a computer game, a very technical, it's all functional, but it is not really uh, realistic. So people constantly realize I am part of a simulator, a simulation, instead of really being engaged uh, and showing the driving behavior that you need as an engineer. So that means that you need to take a different uh, approach there, uh, because the visual input for a driver in a simulator is essential, uh, in some ways even more important than the motion that you experience. So when we built a driving simulator, we put a lot of emphasis on the graphics quality. And that starts with the 3D graphics that we uh, design for our customer, but also the rendering. Uh, the frames per second uh, needs to be at 120 instead of 60, what you normally have with your engineering tool. You need high resolution, high limiting resolution, so that when you're in the simulator, you cannot uh, distinguish pixels from each other. Uh, it needs to be a natural view uh, in the driving simulator. But at the same time, you also need to have the 3D environment that you show the driver in the simulator. You also need to have that in your uh, engineering tools. Uh, and that's why at Cruden uh, we have developed certain uh, uh, conversion uh, workflows that allow you, enable our customers to convert engineering environment into something that you can run in a simulator, but also the other way around. The high quality graphics that we built for the simulator, we also create versions of that that you can run in your simulation software.